This is Andy Stode from the Ellie Remembered Foundation. I'm hanging with Reaper and we'll shoot you soon. Nice. I like So you guys know I'm a big sucker for foundations. Um, I'm a big sucker for uh, working with the military, PTSD, cancer, uh, domestic abuse, anything that want, uh, you just, just call me and I'm there to help you guys and support it. I love this kind of stuff, you know that, because I think it's really beneficial for our community. And that's the cool thing about our paintball community is that um, we're not just players, we're uh, husbands and wives, we're, uh, we're uh, kids, we're daughters, we're, we're everything. And in doing so, we come together and we, and we play this amazing thing. We have this thing in common. So, um, about a week ago, my friend Steve from the Amazing Un Unbelievable Podcast. <laughs> what is the it? Uh, Popular Unknown Paintball Podcast. Exactly. He, he, he started telling me about the Alley, Found Alley Remembered Foundation. And he said, can you do me a favor and you can, can you post this? And I said, what is this? And he, he gave me, and I said, I'm in. That's it. That's it. You, add me, you add me at hello. All right, cool. So, I actually have the, the, the founder with me. And I'm very lucky to have this guy with me. Your name again? It's uh, Andy Sterrett. Hi, Andy. Where are you from? We are from Denver, Colorado. I like Denver, Colorado. The air is thinner up there, right? Uh, it's a lot thinner, it's so it's thin. nice to get down here to the desert where, you know, you can breathe again. You can actually see the air. And it's not snowing. No. And it's warm, and I have shorts on, exactly so right. we're not bundled up in parkas and sled dogs like Did Steve. you actually see the snow on the mountains up there? Yeah, actually up there, a little bit of altitude. That's the, the Sierra like, Nevadas. It's fantastic, yeah. right? Did we even leave home? I like it. Okay, my brother, so do you actually play? Yeah, actually, I've been uh, playing since 1989. Are you serious? Uh, I've been around a long what time. What an All right, cool. I worked for, it was in the industry with Pro Star Sports and Guy Cooper. Okay. Remember him from back in the day? No, I'm a, um, I'm a 2008. I'm sorry, I'm a baby. Oh, you're a baby? I'm, I'm a baby in the sport. Yeah. 2008. Played that, grew up through, you know, all the, the pump and then the MPPL and doing stuff with Lively with all of his series and all that stuff and tournaments and D-Day and, and you name it, paintball. We traveled around. I've been wow. to Malaysia. You know, places like that. Seriously. Paintball and yeah. promoting the sport. That's cool. The cool thing about that is that, um, okay, so... When you've got an OG player, right, and they're, they they drank the Kool-Aid when it was like harder back then, right? Because some of these guys had used to use 12 grams. Uh, the paint was super expensive. Mm. Today, with our snowflake millennials, when they play and they're like, "Oh, I can't because it's too cold, it's too hot," it's like, and then they don't stick with it, right? You guys are the ones that built this community. You guys yeah. are the ones that established everything and then and hung out there. And so now, all these kids that come and play. When they're going to stick around, they're going to play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, the hardships you guys had to go through, we, they, we, we probably weeded out so many people. But we get them out in the snow in the pump gun days. Dude, right? Yeah, you know, hiding in a snow drift and waiting for somebody to walk by and, and for wearing shot? a white jacket. <laughs> exactly. You know, exactly. That was good fun right? up in the mountains. That was amazing. Okay, so um, let's talk serious. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So serious FM radio. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> ah, see, I got you. I love joking. Okay. No. Um... Tell me about the foundation. So the foundation was basically founded, we just got our 501c3 from the IRS okay. and got it all legal, but um, back in 2017, my uh, daughter Allie was basically involved in a really bad domestic violence relationship with wow. her boyfriend. Um, we kind of missed all the signs, didn't really, we knew what was going on, but we didn't know what was going on to address it well enough, or the right way I should say, and she ended up being murdered. Sorry to hear this. Um, and now we've 18 months. That's been a little longer than that. You know, he got to Mexico. We tracked him down, caught him. Seriously? Um, yeah. We're getting ready to, to start the trial coming up here in April. But it kind of gave me the idea and, and I need to go do something. Cause right. Allie was a fun-loving, like to help people. She was actually enlisted in the Navy and getting ready wow. to deploy. And she wanted to go kind of explore the world young to figure out where she could be the best help to people. Um, but now she can't. So I was like, well, let's do something and continue that for her, you know, in her name. 
So we created the foundation. Of course, being paintball players and stuff like that, and guys like Tom Boot and some of the guys we have on the team with the Expendables, we're like, let's go do things that are domestic violence related, but we can do it in the paintball community as well as local communities. Because players are affected, they have to deal with it. And it's a big outreach worldwide with you know our, our paintball family. So why not protect them, help them be safe as well? So we've launched everything where we're getting into NXL, we're getting into chapters that we'll do locally where we can support you know youth of all ages. Nice. Um, so I set the foundation up, I got smart, because obviously what do you need to really get people interested? So went to uh, my good friend, I call him Grandpa, Bud Orr. And Bud signed up as a, a board member. Then I went to the other grandpa, Dan Colby, from Immortal. Whoa! And You're not Dan was like, I don't know what to do, but count me in. Nice. So he's on the board of directors as well. Nice. Um, and then we got some other people that are, you know, in and out of the paintball community to help us out. So now we're really starting to fire this whole thing up. Uh, get out there and help kids and of course bud being bud was like let's do this for all kids wow this isn't just for the ones that are survivors right. of domestic violence it's like i want to do this for everybody and you, you can't tell bud no right because bud's bud that's bud so i was like all right so we're developing what's called the pit pals program that's going to have a combination of training uh mental type of things it's got uh scholastics where they can do uh, stuff for school and get grades and, and get you know all kinds of uh, prizes and things like that. Uh, Dan Colby is doing a whole HPA certification. Wow! Where they can be certified on HPA filling and okay. everything. Um, so there's all kinds of little certs. Then we're going to start adding in uh, scholarships for college and stuff for oh my kids God. in paintball and Dude. things like that that want to uh, you know go through and do it all. So as it comes online, they'll be able to sign up, be, get a membership. At the NXL events, like we're at right now, we're going to start bringing out at least four kids each event that are going to get to go in the pits with the pros. And we have a number of pro teams signed up, you know, um, uh, Uprising, Virtue's our big sponsor, uh, Aaron Ormrod with Virtue's working on getting a bunch of other teams, you know, Yosh is a buddy of mine on nice. Dynasty, yep. um, so they're interested in things. But we're going to have these kids being able to go in as a pit pal, work in the pits during the matches and learn and absorb and then a lot of those pro players and things and players from all kinds of teams right. actually are going to come in and mentor and guide and then we could take that wow. back to the local you know kids at local fields and let them go through the program and, and basically build them up and give them everything they need to know be it a training tip yep. be it uh, a mental tip or social media skills how to have good relationships how to properly train work out how to eat right all those things are all included in the pit pals program <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, that's um, okay. So I'm a father. I've got uh, a son. Uh, he's 23 and a daughter 21. And uh, you know, you're with the daughter. You're um, always, uh, you know, having to uh, be give worried. That extra watch. And you know, she's had some relationships where I wanted to go over there and, and you know, Talk tell the guy somebody. what's what. Yeah. So um, that's the that's the uh, I guess the cool thing about um, uh, that's the cool thing about the. Uh, uh, situation that you're doing with this foundation and everything like this right. too it'll bring a more aware awareness and maybe uh, maybe more fathers in the paintball community will go maybe I should be checking up on my daughter well that's that's kind of one of the things that as I got into this and started learning the dynamics of what domestic violence was right even though I saw it I witnessed it I never actually realized and, and called it my daughter's in a domestic violence situation got it it was always an ego driven I'm dead I'm gonna protect you right and I would do things to, like that you know I'm gonna go thump this kid drag him out in the back of the alley <laughs> all right the, the typical response you'd get from any father with, with kids like that but it, the, the ego blinded me to the whole domestic violence scene and you go through those phases and then something tragically like us happens right. where you know your kids murdered but 
ironically, 65, 70% of most parents would flat out tell you if we started pulling them walking by out here, that kids, oh, that would never happen to me. It, it's a it's a real proven st- you know, stat in the right. country. Right. And it's like, well, it could happen to you. It may have already happened to you with your kids. Right. So as parents, it's our jobs, obviously, to protect our kids. But you have to go to another level and realize what are they doing? What's the relationships and everything? So the foundation is driven towards the youth, um, you know, eight, basically, up to 18, 19, 20 in high school um, through college for awareness purposes too so we've even got a, a escalation movie it's 40 minutes long and we show those and we bring in the whatever kids we can get in the local area with their parents to come in and it's a whole documented kind of movie that shows all this and the parents are stunned when they're done because they talk and we get them into groups and things and they're just like whoa i didn't realize this could happen wow okay where do we find you you can uh, find us online at uh, alleyremembered.org. Okay. Um, you can find Alley Remembered on Facebook. Uh, you can find the Denver Expendables, which is our team that runs out and does all this kind of stuff, obviously, um, at Denver Expendable or the the Denver Expend or the excuse me, get them all mixed because we're at the NXL. The Expendables Paintball Team right. on Facebook and ExpendablesPaintball.com online. I like it. Okay, you guys, listen. Um, uh, I, like I said, I'm very connected about these kind of things. Uh, it, it just, it, it gets me right here. So I hope you guys feel the same way. And uh, go see if you can help and support these guys. It's amazing what they're doing. My brother, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Thank you.